got him. We got him. Come on, big one, big one, big one. Big one. Guys, we've got an exciting one for y'all today. We're out here on the river. We're kind of out here in the spot where we always fish at, but we're gonna be mixing things up today. We're out here targeting one fish specifically, and that is catfish. I don't care what kind they are, I don't care if they're blue channels or flatheads, but we're after the catfish. We got a whole spread of rods here. I've actually got five of them. We're starting off out here in the river in the boat, but we're actually gonna take this and do a land-based mission here in just a little bit, set up camp out in the parking lot, and we're gonna do a catfish catch and cook pending we actually catch some catfish, which I'm feeling pretty optimistic about because we just secured some bait we got some of the local forage and this is all we could catch is a bunch of these small little threadfin shad they're like two to three inches long kind of small but this is what the fish are eating we've also got one slightly above average size shad this is a gizzard and then I've got a little sneaky tiny little uh, little sunfish we're gonna use it all we're gonna set up a little spread here behind the boat See if we can't catch a few catfish here that we'll take over to the parking lot and cook up. But while we're cooking up, we're also gonna set up a big spread. We're gonna set out all night. I got black lights to glow these rods up and I'm just really excited about it. It's gonna be a good time. Hopefully you are excited to tune into this one. If so, do us a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and let's see how many catfish we can put in this boat and on the bank today. Let's go. Okay, we got the first rig that's going out. This is a seven foot, uh, just really beefy spinning rod. Got a big reel on here. We got a three ounce weight. We're gonna do a Carolina rig behind the boat. We got some wind kind of blowing in here. We've also got a lot of current because we had a lot of rain. We're going ahead and put our first little Jimmy on here. This guy got stuck in the net and his head kind of got compensated for. So we're just gonna put him on, put him on there first. And I think a couple of these other rods need to get rigged up. I'll show you how we get those rigged up. But most of them are gonna be set up with the standard Carolina rig. And this is a four rod circle hook. Just got him on there, and we're gonna send him just right out here behind the boat. I'm not even gonna get up. We're just gonna just, boom. It's about 12 foot deep out there. Just gonna prop him up. I really need to get some rod holders for this boat. It's been an ongoing conversation for a long time. One of these days I'll do it, but for now, we're just gonna have to risk for the best and just let it land up against the seat. Next rod rigged up, this new was already rigged up. It's got just a drop shot rig on there. It's got a little bigger hook, so we're gonna put a chunk of that bigger shad on. I actually cut the head off of him. I'm just gonna rig him up right through the nose. Send him out there. It's gonna be just a little bit off the bottom. Maybe if a bigger fish swims through, he'll eat that. I wish I could have got some bigger bait. We're gonna throw the cast net around a little bit more here in a little bit and see if we can't find some little bit bigger um, bait to use later on in the parking lot. But for now, we'll start with this. And just like this other one, we're just gonna send it behind the boat, out of the way of the other one. Alrighty, a little bit deeper, kind of got more in the channel with that one. This rod's a little bit big for in the boat, but it'd be all right. It'd be all right. Maybe we'll get a big old like 40 pound catfish to eat this thing. Do we already have our first bite? We got our first bite and our first fish. I can't even get the pole set up. Hey, stay on there. This might be exactly what we're looking for. Oh, I think it's a catfish. I think it's a catfish. Be a good eater catfish. Oh no, oh no, it's not what we were after. It's an old drum boy. If there's one thing that's certain in life, it's that this drum is not on the menu tonight. It also looks like Mother Rob might be getting a bite. So we're gonna send him back. It's a nice drum, nice way to start the day off. He bit literally like within two minutes of the bait landing on the bottom, so that's a good sign there are some fish active. Let's go ahead and send our buddy back. Just give him a little toss. What's going on here? Is that a fish, dude? No. I think it's just the current, the boat's spinning around and we're just dragging the bottom. Getting our Carolina rig rod rigged back up. This shed has its head intact. Hopefully they still like it. That drum definitely liked the headless shed. I'm gonna send it back in the same area and see if there's a catfish lingering. Just right out there. We could probably honestly just drop the baits down directly underneath the boat, but I kind of like to fight them. I like to reel them in a long way, so that's why I'm making the long cast, but it's not exactly necessary. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Got him, got him, got him. Oh gosh, I got you. 
Woo! Just almost had a double up. My other pole went off and I missed. And then this one went off. Maybe a school of catfish just swam through. Please don't be a drum. Oh, it's spinning on the top. Looks like a catfish. Looks like a catfish. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. Golly, get up in here. He's coming in. He's coming in. Perfect. Look how fat he is. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. You have got to be kidding me. Look at that tummy. Oh, oh my gosh. This is probably like the size of like a two pound catfish. This thing's probably almost four pounds with how fat he is. Goodness. He loved that shad head. There we go. Our first eater catfish of the night. I'm looking to catch maybe like three of these to keep and eat, but that is a solid start to the afternoon. Definitely nice to have our first catfish in the boat to make sure we are gonna be eating some dinner tonight. Go ahead and put him in the live well. Look at that tummy, that is unreal. I can do a little dissection and see what's in there. I bet it's a bunch of little small shad that we caught in the net earlier. Yeah, he's talking to us. Say hi. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, going in the live well. All right, well, we almost had all three of our rods out and now also we have all three rods just in shambles on the front deck. That's catfishing for you. Let's get them all situated and get back out there. Okay, we just got the pink rod rigged. This is definitely the beefiest rod we own. This is an extra heavy. It's rated up to four to 20 ounce lures. I've got like a little two ounce weight on there and just a little piece of shad. Maybe we could find a big bait that we can put on this thing later on and send it out there because I would love to catch a giant catfish tonight along with the little ones we're gonna be eating. But I'm gonna send this one out here out of the way and put the other ones back where they were. This is gonna go more in the channel, a little bit more current. We are going to have to get some more bait. We're already running through them. Still can't believe how fat that catfish was. Again, there's the bait, got a little scale on the tip. You don't wanna leave any scales on the tip of your hook. It can impede your hookup ratio. Okay, we're gonna put this one back right over here, kind of on the channel edge. Oh gosh, got him. I think he's still there. Yeah, he's there. He's kind of running. I tell you guys, when you get one, you get, golly. <laughs> Gotta stand up for this one. <laughs> I don't know if this is a catfish. He's not, he's not fighting right. But the action is just so fast. Be a catfish. Come on, come on. Be a little rolly boy. Don't be a, oh no, it's that guy again. Kevin, I said no. Hello. I guess that's Drumland right there. Look at Kevin, a little spry young guy. Be cool if we catch these monster drum that live out here. This is kind of the average size I catch when I'm out here fishing this spot. All right, we got Kevin off the hook. Another beautiful little freshwater drum. They're fun to catch. We're after catfish, we're after something to eat tonight. We're gonna send him back, get another shad back out there where he was at. Hopefully we get a catfish next time. Cool fish though. It's, it's never not fun reeling in a fish. It doesn't really matter what they are. As long as they're not like that big, we can handle that. Let's get back out there. Kevin pooped on me. I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to do. I don't, what do you do with that? Do you just smear it in? Do you like just burn your jacket? I can't burn the shake. This is actually my grandpa's jacket. Um, so I was trying to work to get some good luck. You can see it's a little janky, but Kevin, he didn't have to do that. That's nasty. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that just yet, but drum can be pretty rude sometimes. Not the chicken. Come on, get it, Kevin. Oh, gotcha, sucker. Don't be a drum. <laughs> this rod is on fire today. They like the orange pole. I think it's a catfish. Feels like it's rolling like a catfish. Don't be a drum. Gotta keep an eye on the other poles too because they can go off at any second. Seems like when one goes off, they all go off. Come on up, come on up. Oh, it's a striper, who knew? Let's go. <laughs> oh, Jeff, are you okay? I think he's okay. It's a striper. Fish number four is a striped bass, which is definitely, you know, something that I expected to catch this afternoon. I would've thought we would've had more, oh gosh, is that pole getting bit? That's crazy out here. Striped bass, he's probably about two pounds. Good eating fish, but we're just gonna stay purist and keep catfish today. We're wanting to make some catfish sandwiches over there. But still, a cool fish. He fought pretty good, so I was thinking he might have been a catfish. He was definitely not fighting like a drum. What a beauty. Peace. Come 
Come on, take it down. Take it down. Oh. Got you, sucker. Pink pole getting some action. What kind of fish are you? It feels kind of small, but this pole, like I said, it barely bends. It doesn't matter how big the fish is. We caught some big old black drums on this thing in Florida. Anything they could, oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, it's a striper. Oh, nice striper. Bigger than the last one. Second striper of the day, a little bit bigger than the last one. Definitely got a little more color to him. Fought hard, thought it was a catfish. If we don't catch some more catfish, we might have to consider keeping a couple of these guys if we're gonna eat something good tonight. But I have faith we'll catch some more catfish. If it's not here, it'll probably be somewhere else, but this spot definitely seems pretty active. We're getting bit every cast. It's just a matter of time for a catfish to swim in front of our bait and uh, eat it, and hopefully we can get him in the boat. But for now, we'll take what we can get. Another nice little striper, and we're gonna give him proper release. Oh God, big takedown. That's gotta be a cat. That's gotta be a cat. He took that thing down. Come on, be a catfish. He's kind of running. <laughs> Looking less likely to be a catfish. Oh, he's on the top. What is that a drum? Better not be. It is a drum. <laughs> I thought that fish was much bigger by the way he took that bait down. That was sick. Cool though, got us another drum. They are getting really wild out here this afternoon. We're running off all the catfish. I think that's our third drum of the day. This is our smallest one. I think this is our smallest fish overall, but he, I talked about that rod being like super beefy. That rod went and whenever I leaned into him, he felt big. I guess he was just down there on the bottom in the current, but still another nice little fish. Not what we're after. We're not eating blackened drum sandwiches today. See ya. They just wanted to come see the boat and want to see what's up. Want to come say hi. Oh, that feels big. Is he on there? Did he come off? He's still there. Come on. Man, I don't think this is a catfish either. Oh, 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 oh. He just got, oh, he's rolling. He's rolling, he got bigger just now. Come on. What are you? Surprise me, baby. He just rolled, it ain't no, it ain't no drum or a striper. It's either a drum or a catfish. Oh my gosh, how many of these things are down there? <laughs> oh, it's a thick one though. Look at the head on him. That one there is thick. What's crazy is that we really haven't been catching a ton of drum out here in this area, but today that has not been the case. We've caught mostly drum and one catfish. We'll send it back. I said I wasn't gonna cast this rod in the same spot that I have been casting, but I'm gonna give it one more chance, see if we can't get a catfish. I'm gonna cast a little bit more left, but them drum are hanging out in the thick current. There should be catfish there. Well, we sent that one. Got that one in the wind. <laughs> Whenever we, if we get a bite and we hook them, it's gonna feel like a monster. It's a little deep right there. It's like 15 foot deep out there. Man, this pole is on fire. I'm gonna have to throw all the poles over there and just take, just, you know, just take my chances on it. Golly, he's all the way out there. My carpal tunnel loves this, by the way. <laughs> Let's go. I think this is a striper. Definitely not leaning towards drum on that one. Oh yeah. We nailed it with that time. Stripey guy. Those fish out there are giddy for those cut shad just drifting along the bottom. That bait was out there 30 seconds, I think. Now that's a little striper. Where are the catfish at? Peace. That was instant. Goodness. This rod ain't had no love for a while because it didn't have no bait on there. What kind of fish are you? Doesn't feel like a catfish. I think it's a striper. It is another striper. The striper in here thick now. Boom. 
I think it's a, that's like our fourth or fifth striper of the day. We are really racking up the numbers. We've been fishing for maybe 25 minutes. Oh gosh, oh gosh. I don't think I missed that one. <laughs> fishing maybe 25, 30 minutes and we've caught probably 10 fish. It's crazy. Still looking for some more catfish though. We got him. Yo, this feels like a catfish. This one feels like a catfish. Hybridized with the with the striper. Wouldn't be surprised if it's a striper with whiskers. Come on. He's not doing the catfish spin. He's not doing a drum spin either. Oh, yeah, he is. Ricardo. Ooh. Smallest of the day, the drum are getting smaller. I think that's why I fell back with this one. There wasn't enough weight resistance to keep me up. That's the smallest fish of the day. He's still like, you know, like a, a healthy pound and a half drum, but we gotta find some catfish. We're honestly about to run out of bait. We're gonna have to go find some more bait. And I think we're gonna head back to the ramp here pretty soon and get set up for the late afternoon into the early evening spread. I'm really excited about it. There's a couple of guys out there fishing right now, so we might as well wait for them to leave to kind of get a good spot, but I'm really excited about it. Another one. I can't get nothing done up here because they just keep eating my stuff. I think it's another speedy striper. Another speedy striper. -hoo -hoo. Flying in the boat. Another healthy little striper. Getting closer and closer to becoming dinner as we speak. I don't think any of my poles are in the water anymore. Maybe one. Nope, none of them. Okay, I think we're gonna do one last light little spread of rods, have them all out there, um, let them stay until they all get bit, or just some sort of sequence, and then we're gonna go wrangle up some more bait because we literally have like, 10 shad left in there and that's not gonna cut it for the rest of the afternoon. So we're gonna try to go find some more, try to find some bigger baits. I think the bigger baits might help us kind of, you know, target the catfish a little bit better too. But maybe we'll get lucky on one of these three. Catch us another kitty cat for the grill. Whew, that's a good spot. That's a catfish. That's gotta be a catfish. There's some mass behind this one. It could be a drum, but I think this one here is a kitty cat. Oh gosh, the other pole's getting bit. We're good, I think this is a catfish. Don't be a drum. I cast this one really far. That's probably aiding into the weight. It felt like some catfish rolls at first. Don't make me a liar. Do not be a drum or I'm retiring. That's a nice striper. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. Hey, we'll take that. Man, I really thought we had ourselves our second catfish of the day. I did not think it was gonna be this hard to get some catfish out here. I think another pole's getting by it, I'm not sure. But that's another really good one. He's three and a half pounds maybe. He fought good, felt good. I think we're gonna put one more shad on there and throw it out there in the same spot while these other two are chilling. Pretty fish. We're gonna feel this one out. I think based on the scientific method and from recent results that this is more than likely an Aplodinotus grunians. Not a Morone saxatilis. I'm looking for the Ictalurus furcatus. Oh, he came off, no, right at the boat. Didn't even get to see him, it was probably a catfish. What a loser. For any of y'all that don't know, Napolidinotus grunians is a freshwater drum. That's some useless knowledge that you learn in college. All right, we are striking the set. Reeling all these poles in. We're gonna run back up where we caught our bait at and go try to secure some fresh bait. This one still has bait, surprisingly. I'm gonna throw him back in the bucket. Ain't taking nothing for granted. 
But we need, we honestly need probably like, I feel good with about 50 pieces at the rate that we're fishing and because we're gonna set up a five rod spread where we're going. So let's get these all set up. So we get some bait. Okay, we just got some bait secure. We got a bunch more of these little shad. And we also got a couple of little like three to four inch little bluegill. I only got two of those, but I think that those are gonna be a uh, key in this maybe catching a big fish. We're gonna bring them up on the hook live. But we probably got, I don't know, maybe 50 in there. Maybe a little less, maybe a little more. We might have to catch some more down here by the boat ramp actually. But we're gonna head back there. We're gonna get situated. We're gonna get the rod set up and then we're gonna get the, the grill out and we're gonna cook this catfish. We only got one catfish, but that's enough to, to cook up for dinner. So we'll do that. Maybe we'll catch another one down there at the parking lot, but we're gonna make the run back. We'll see you guys when we get there. Parking lot party. Okay, we've made it to the parking lot. This is where the real fun's going to begin. I don't know I don't know how this is gonna to go, to be honest with you guys. I see people fishing out here all the time. There's other guys already set up on both sides of us fishing. And I'm just excited to get a big spread of rods out. It's kinda of like when you go to the beach and you start fishing. I mean, kinda of missing that since we went back you know, a couple months ago. And uh, that's kinda of what we're gonna do. But we also have these, these rods that are super bright colored, but they glow under a black light. So I'm excited about that. I got a black light, gonna make them glow. And hopefully we get a few bites. We got a lot of bait, got some already rigged up. I got, a, got three rods rigged up, I got two more. I got get set up but we're gonna get the spread all lined up here on the bank and then we're gonna clean that catfish we caught and we're gonna get the griddle all set up we're gonna start cooking it's just gonna be a lot of fun so let's get this rod sent out there see how far we can cast it's whenever we were driving in I was graphing it to see how deep it was it was like eight foot deep about 50 yards out there so as long as we can get 50 yards out I feel good about it I hope the bait stayed on. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Got him. Fish on. Be a catfish. I think that's a catfish. Don't be a drum. Just had to come down here to the parking lot to catch the fish. Just trying to get my other poles rigged up and set up. Jacob ran off to go get some firewood for us. And it's a catfish. He's rolling on top. Let's go. We needed another one so bad. This is coming in so clutch right now. He was way out there. No, nah, it took five minutes. <laughs> I know. It's a nice little blue cap. Chad. This is what we need. It's a little bigger than the other one. Oh, he's so fat. Look how fat that fish is. Woo! Yeah, that's the way mine were. That stomach's full of jam. They are thick. Yeah. All right, Jacob's back. He found us some firewood. But in the meantime, look at this blubber belly of a blue catfish. It's honestly probably about the same size as the last one, but look at that thing. It's like grotesque. Like, what? What even is that? I don't know if it's pregnant or if it's just full of shad or it's a mixture of both. We're about to find out here in just a moment because we're gonna be uh, getting these fish cleaned up and we're gonna be eating it, but that is just unnatural. Honestly, a little bit uncalled for. That makes me uncomfortable. Look at that. That is insane. Hopefully there's some, uh, some shad in there we can use for bait. <laughs> I'm just kidding, we got plenty of bait, but uh, that is unreal. Imagine if we catch one that's like a 10 pounder and it looks like this. It's just, I don't even understand. I've never caught a catfish that fat. Just got this kind of rigged back up. I was kind of confused when I reeled that catfish in. He had a lot of braided line attached to him. I thought he got tangled up in my other pole, but I reeled it in and he wasn't tangled up in it. So I'm gonna pull all that line in. I'm sure somebody maybe just broke off with it or something, but uh, it's got a fresh shad on here. Wants to get us another big. They like these little ones. You'd think a big old fat catfish like that would like a big shad, but. He wanted this little guy. Mm. 
Got him. <laughs> Big pole, baby. Number two from the parking lot. Feels much smaller than the last one. We got him. He's coming. This might not be a catfish. Might be a striper. God, he was all the way out there. It was like an 80 yard cast probably. Come on in here. Oh, it's a little kitty cat. Oh, heads up. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, not quite as fat as the last one. This one here looks a little more normal. He'll make some really good fillets. We're gonna keep him too, and I think we got dinner secured now. We got two from the parking lot in like 10 minutes versus only one catfish out there in the main spot in like an hour. That's crazy. Nice little blue cat. So, I've only got one Jingle Bell, but it's gonna come in clutch because, you know, I have three bright rods that are gonna glow underneath the UV light. I have that big black uh, surf rod, it's not gonna glow. So we're gonna put the bell on that one. I have another big surf rod that's black also. That's also not gonna glow. I don't know if I'm gonna put it out or not. The four rods seems like a good spread, but we get desperate and put the fifth rod out. But for now, I have one with the Jingle Bell, we're about to get the light out, get these guys glowing because it's getting dark. And we've gotta to get to work on these catfish because I'm getting really hungry now. Hey, we got more jingle bells. These fellas came in clutch. They're over here, they got a spread set up next to us, trying to catch some catfish. Uh, we're gonna have all the rods of jingle bells now. So now we can't miss any bites. Appreciate it, guys. You're welcome. Good luck. Big rig, small bait, big dreams. Fat blue cats. Those cats should be a pound and a half, no, like four pounds. Kapink. This is a perfect spot for this pole, though, right there. That's perfect. That's perfect. Got him. Doesn't feel like anything super big, but we got him. Oh, he's feeling a little bigger. Come on in here, little bite. Man, he was way out there. Almost got under the surface. Uh-oh. Come up here. Still don't know how big he is. He's not monster, but he's decent. Oh. Whew. I'm like, I'll take a little fishing line. Here we go, I'm good now. Oh shoot, big pole. You good? Another one doubled up. <laughs> Heck yeah. Get up here. <laughs> Literally just landed that one and we're hooked up with another. Get up here. It's so hard to tell how big they are when they're that far out. Oh, he's little. Little tiny guy. Man, he's super tiny. He's super tiny. He's a little. He's a little French fry. He is cute though. Look at that little tiny little blue catfish. He's probably less than a pound. We're gonna go ahead and toss him back. But we grabbed the big fat one. We just caught a minute ago. This one, just another fat one. Not as fat as that one we caught, but still just blown up. Well, I'm assuming it's just from eating all the shad out here. It could be that they got some eggs in them too, but it's just hard to say. No nice catfish though. That is awesome. Probably about three pounds. We gotta get a big one for the night's over. Big one, big one, big one, big one. Big one. Big one. He's on the, look at him, he's jumping. This is a big one, guys. 
I think it's a big one. He's like running. Oh, he's getting in my other crap. He's in my other pole. Oh no. Dude, you got a net. I got a net in my boat. Pretty nice one, guys. <laughs> I do not even want to know what happened to my other poles. They are all tangled up. It's going to be a nightmare getting it undone. Oh, yeah, nice one. That takedown was insane. Oh, it's a big one. On oh, a tiny little shed. Yep. Look at that belly. Yes, sir. There. Let's go. Let's go. Thanks, man. Yes, sir. Guys, we got a monster. Not a monster monster, but compared to everything else we were catching today, oh, I can't even handle him. He's so big, let me get the lip grippers on him. I mean, the takedown was absolutely insane. And he was like on the surface, just jumping and rolling. I don't know if I had a big striper or a big catfish. I mean, 10 out of 10 for the takedown. I'm gonna guess that this one here is probably 15-ish. Got a big old belly. We got a scale, let's find out real quick. What's it say? Nineteen oh seven. Nineteen oh seven. Nineteen oh seven inside the net. I think the net weighs like two and a half pounds, so it's like a seventeen pounder. I'll weigh the net here in a second, but that's awesome. Nineteen four in the net, we still have to weigh the net, but I think like I said, I think the net weighs two and a half pounds, but we're gonna take it down to the edge of the water and go release it. I wish we could have seen the the, the jump. Is it it sounded like the fish jumped like three foot out of the water. I don't know if I had a, a catfish, a big striper, or an Asian cart, but let's take him down to the water and release him. This water is cold on my toes. That's okay. We'll do it for a good release. <laughs> she can try to go over the rocks. Oh gosh. That is sick. Wow. That was tight. That's about what I imagined it looked like when he jumped all the way out there. <sighs> on a tiny shed like that big. Incredible. This is crazy guys. My pole was laying down on the ground. I didn't think nothing about it. And I picked up start reeling and there's a fish on here. And it feels decently, decently heavy. Nothing like that last one, but I guess the fish took it down and amidst all the chaos we just had. Who knows though, it could've been just out there just chilling. I don't even know it took, oh gosh. Get up here. Oh, another fat belly. Okay. Man, my arms are so tired. <laughs> I'm ready to eat some sandwiches, guys. Oh man, this thing looks like a zombie. That thing, He's, his belly feels weird. It's fat, but it kind of feels deflated a little bit. Another beautiful little blue catfish. Get him unhooked. And I think we're gonna reel most of the spread in so we can actually have a moment to cook our food because they just keep going off. I didn't even know I had a fish on this one. It's a good problem to have when you, the action's so so intense you can't even cook a dinner. All right, send it back. Okay, we just took down the set. We actually just have one rod out right now and I put one of those live bluegill on it just to kind of slow down the action so we can actually get some cooking done. And I also just cleaned up that fat catfish we caught earlier. We did a little bit of investigating to see if it was just full of eggs or bait fish or both. Guys, there was not any eggs in that fish. It was solid shad and i have the contents in my hand this might be a little bit disturbing i don't care i just have to show you this look at this this catfish probably had 30 of those small little thread fins in its tummy that's what they're eating 100 percent. i need to take that bluegill off that pole immediately like how crazy is that i mean that is one of the most insane things i've ever seen these fish are these shad are fresh like he's just down there just gobbling them all up there's probably 30 inside of that thing's belly right now they're not really even decomposed it's just insane to me. I've never seen anything like this before. If y'all have seen anything like this before, let me know. But I need to get this out of my hands. I gotta get my hands washed so I can actually start cooking up. Let me throw these guys out here. Let me show you guys the fillets I got. So 
So that fat catfish had some nice little fillets or a little murky. You gotta get them washed up. That's kind of part of the whole parking lot cooking scene. Not a whole lot of uh, uh, commodities to help get your fish all cleaned up, but we'll rinse them off in the river. We've got our griddle heating up behind us. It's almost ready to throw these guys on there. And I am more than excited to get this cooking process underway so that we can turn our attention back to fishing because the bite is just unreal tonight. Okay, this is our first go doing the parking lot catch, clean, and cook, and we definitely hit some hiccups. We should have brought a cleaning table. We should have brought uh, some utensils to cook these fish on the griddle with. Um, it, we're, we're growing through some growing pains, but we're going to make it work. We got our fish cleaned up, but just like a forewarning, this is not my best uh, <laughs> cleaning job of all time. I literally cleaned them on a on a very bumpy rock, but it should work. It should serve the purpose. We got two of our fish cleaned up here. We're gonna season them up with some slappy mom and we're gonna throw them on the griddle. We've got some buns cooking on the griddle right now to get them toasty. And then I can't wait to top them up with a bunch of uh, great toppings. And we're gonna eat these sandwiches, get our bellies full, get them warmed up. And then we're gonna get the catfish rod spread back out and set the black light up and get these rods glowing and see if we can't catch a couple more catfish. But first, let's get these guys seasoned up, let's throw them on the griddle. And you're gonna, we're, we're gonna be using a, pair of scissors to flip them. It's it's embarrassing, but that's all we have that we know is sterile. So we're gonna make it work. <laughs> gonna top these off with some slappy mama. Not gonna go too crazy, but crazy enough. Just one side. Boom. That ought to be good. And we're gonna throw them directly onto the griddle. Like I said, not my best fillets. I promise you I can fillet catfish better than this. <laughs> oh boy. Guys, I have never felt more like a four-year-old in my life. This is <laughs> this is the worst. If this is your first time watching the channel and watching us do a catch cook video, please go back and watch the other 500 catch cook videos because it's not normally like this. But I think we got the job done. Um, the scissors, you know, nothing beats a good spatula. Um, these scissors are not not the deal. But I think the fish got cooked, and that's all that matters. Here they are on the plate. Looks seasoned up pretty decently. They all just kind of fell apart, but it's okay. We're gonna put it all on a sandwich between the buns and we're just not even gonna see what the filet looks like anymore. We're gonna put some uh, some veggies on there and we'll do the ultimate taste test here in just a second once we get done building the sandwich. But to be honest with you guys, I'm ready to get the sandwich ate because I wanna get these rods spread back out. It's been too much fun catching these catfish. Okay, we're gonna start off taking a couple of pieces of fish. Leave some good pieces for Jacob so we can have a nice sandwich too. I actually kind of like it crumbled up like that. I think it looks nice. And all I'm gonna do, we packed light. I'm just gonna open up this jar of pickles right here. Just gonna hit it with a couple of pickles. And I'm just gonna call it a day right there. That's, that's plenty good for me. Like I said, we'll, we'll do better in the future. Leave some recommendations on how you would like to see these parking lot catch and cooks done. We'll happily listen to them. But now it's time to find out how this actually turned out. I'm, I'm a little sketched out, but I think it's gonna be great. I think it's gonna be great. Here we go, going for the bite. Man, that is delicious. I was legit scared the fish wasn't even cooked all the way, to be honest with you guys, but it is cooked to perfection. Look at that. Seasoned up perfectly with the Slappy Mama. You can't go wrong with Slappy Mama, even on parking lot catfish. Man, the toasted bun, also a winning decision too. Mmm, that's fire. That is amazing. I'm not sure if it's just because I'm hungry and a little cold, but that was definitely worth the effort. <clears throat> 10 out of 10 would recommend catching 10 out of 10 would recommend catching and cooking catfish in the parking lot. Okay, we got our fill on some delicious catfish sandwiches. They turned out a lot better than I thought they were as we were cooking them. I was like, this is gonna be terrible, but they ended up being really good. So shout out to the blue catfish for tasting really good out here out of this river. But we've got the spread set back up again. We got the three glowing mad cats. We got the 10 foot tsunami back over there. All up, we have three of them with jingle bells, and we're just gonna sit back and relax. If we can't catch a couple more fish, um, we've had them sit out there for about five minutes. 
Uh, no bites yet, but I have a good feeling that we're gonna have some action here pretty soon. Um, I'm not sure how much longer we're gonna stay out here, but we're definitely gonna try to catch at least a couple more catfish for you guys. Oh, we double take down. Got you. He's there, he's running. Is he still there? What is this, a striper? He's running right to the bank. I swear the other pole got bit too. Man, that was crazy. It's a catfish. That was so weird, the orange pole over here went off and I was going to it and then this one here started going down like crazy. I thought it was a big one and then I thought I lost it, but it's just a little tiny blue cat. He just had it the right way and was going the opposite direction with it. He's, they're all fat. Oh, well that's me. That's me, I'm, I'm freaking myself out here in the dark. <laughs> Beautiful little blue catfish. Would be a good eater if our bellies weren't already full. But we're just gonna be releasing what we catch the rest of the night. Unless we get lucky and catch like a nice flyhead or something, we'll probably take it home to eat it another day. But a pretty catfish. Oh, it smells bells. We get there's like there's like four or five groups out here fishing night, and there's just bells going off in the distance everywhere. It's so much fun. Okay, we're gonna send a little guy back into the lake. Gonna be a nice little toss. All right, let's get bring back up. I think I have a fish. He's very small. <laughs> He's skiing across. This one here's got something weird going on with it too. I don't know if he swam into it or what happened. Oh my goodness. What in the world? We've got a miss. New species alert. I have no idea how this fish pulled the rod down as good as it did. It's kind of crazy. I didn't think I had anything, but it's a little yellow bass, first yellow bass of the night. I mean, not even a jumbo yellow bass, just a little, just a little small yellow bass, but we'll take it. He got our other rod kind of tangled up, so we got to tend to that. We've got rods on the ground again. It seems like when one goes off, they all go off, and it's hard to get them all out at the same time, but we're going to send it back. <laughs> Try to get our stuff situated and hopefully find us another big catfish. That one we caught earlier was so much fun. I'm just like, dreaming we'll catch one maybe a little bit bigger than that one got him decent fish way more decent than that last one he was way out there come on in here big guy Oh, it's another striper. I tell you guys, these stripers have just come alive since it's gotten darker. It's been hard to catch catfish. Clint sitting back, he looks like he's kind of bleeding just a little bit from the long fight. He was way out there and I felt, he felt big. He seemed, I mean, he missed like an 80 yard cast and he came straight to the surface and started kind of wallowing. And I was expecting him to be like a, another two or three pound blue catfish, but just another striper. Still fun to catch. <laughs> Be a cat. Might be a striper. <laughs> As he is zooming to us. It could be a catfish though. Feels feels good. 
feels a little hefty. Where's he going? Oh, come to daddy. Oh no, we got doubles. Oh no. Oh no, we got doubles. I think it's a cat. It is a fat cat. Golly. Oh. Finally, there's just another fat blue catfish. Not a monster, but oh gosh. Oh gosh. Got something going on in the distance behind us. It's been a minute since we caught a catfish. Caught a lot of uh, yellow bass and stripers over the last 30 minutes or so. Uh, maybe the catfish about to turn back on. Hoping to get one more big one back and feel us that we're starting to get kind of tired out. We've been out here for a long time. We got the spire going. It's nice. We're kind of just, just trying to sit back and chill. Um, but the fish just keep biting. So we're going to keep catching them while we're here. Maybe we'll get lucky and catch one more big one. But if not, it's been an amazing night. Had a lot of fun out here. I highly suggest going out and finding yourself a parking lot and butts up next to the lake. Set up camp and uh, catch you some fish. But we're gonna send this guy back, toss this one back out there, see if we can't get another one. Guys, I don't know how big this one is, but he about took the pole. I guess my little makeshift rod holder in the rocks wasn't enough to hold this one. This has gotta be a nice catfish. It doesn't feel as big as that biggest one we caught earlier today, but it still feels pretty nice. Man, definitely not as big as I thought he was going to be after that. I guess that's how, I guess it was just loose in the rocks. Oh. But, yeah, man, I cannot believe that's, that's all the catfish we got out of that. It's still a nice one. It's honestly probably our second biggest one of the day. Oh, maybe our third biggest one. I don't know, he's not that big really overall. It's been slow. It's been nonstop action since we got over here. Um, we probably had like a 10 or 15 minute lull without a bite. And literally this rod just goes screaming out of the rod holder and almost into the river. Luckily, we were able to run it down. I think it was just loose. That's still a nice one though. That'd be a great one to keep and eat. But we've already got our bellies full. We're out here just chilling. And I think this is probably going to be where we cap it off today on our parking lot catfish adventure. Let's go ahead, let's walk him down to the edge of the water and let's send him back. Whew, that was crazy. I've been ticked if he took the rod. <laughs> Well, folks, as much as I don't want to leave, um, I think that this is where we're going to have to conclude our parking lot fishing mission. It's been so much fun. We've been out here way longer than I thought we were going to. We started the day probably around like three o'clock and it is currently 11.10. I figured we'd be done fishing by like seven or eight, but this, this bite has just been absolutely insane. Just so much fun. Just kick back, relax in, in chairs. We got this fire now. And um, like I said, we've just been catching a bunch of fish. We caught probably 20, 25 catfish, 20 striper, 10, 15 drum. I don't really know. We, there's no way we can include all of the fish we caught today in today's video. But this is definitely something that we want to revisit and do again. There's a couple other spots kind of like this, you know, parking lot kind of setting next to good fishing spots. Be a lot of fun to set up. And it's, you know, a type of video that we're looking forward to making uh, throughout this year. But with that, we are going to scatter this fire put it out and we're gonna head back to the house. But we hope that y'all enjoyed the video. If so, do us a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel for more, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.